Hi guys, this is Love Kumar, and in this video, I'll show you how to automatically test for hidden parameters using Ironverse. Now, sometimes developers hide some functionality in the application and make these fun uh, functionality only accessible when you add a special parameter to the request. Uh, it could be in the query or the body or in the cookie or in the headers or in some cases uh, they could make the application behave in a certain way when the Google bot is accessing it and in another way when a regular user, user is accessing it and uh, sometimes when the application is being used from within the company it could be uh, you know it could behave in a certain way it could have some uh, debugging functionality and other uh, you know information being displayed but when it when the application is being accessed from outside all of this functionality might be hidden finding out these hidden functionalities is not entirely straightforward it requires a lot of guesswork you have to try a lot of different things and uh, you know see which one works and sometimes none of them might actually work but uh, you know it's actually worth a try so there are some common uh, parameters which are mostly used uh, you know when this kind of functionality is hidden by developers and uh, we'll actually see how ironwasp helps you discover them now to do this we go to interactive testing tools and we select test for hidden parameters and uh, now here you can actually see that ironwasp has a pre-populated list of parameters that it actually tries to guess for for example uh, it tries to set the host name as localhost uh, it tries to set the x forwarded for header as localhost it set, tries to set the user agent as the google bot and it tries to add the parameter name admin with the value one both in the query and the body uh, and then it tries admin with the value true admin with the value s and couple of other uh, uh, options here so these are these have usually been found to reveal hidden functionality in the application so these are the defaults which are available with ironwasp now you can actually add your own uh, parameter as well if you would want to it's uh, actually very easy to add it and you could select which part of the request this parameter must be added in okay so these are the parameters and uh, we'll actually select which host name uh, these parameters must be added to so i'll select local host and since we are also going to uh, look for hidden parameters in the authenticated section of the website i'll select the login recording which i've already created now i'll say find suitable candidates so iron was uh, shows me the list of all uh, logs which are associated with the local host now let's say I only want to test for requests which have the get method. I don't want to test the logout and I don't want to test the root URL. So these are the different requests that I'm going to test for. So I'll say test selected candidates. Okay, so now what I was actually doing is it is sending all of these requests again, but it is adding these parameters which we configured at the beginning of the test and it's adding it to the different sections of the request uh, you know just like we had configured it and it it does this and it shows you the percentage of difference uh, adding these parameters actually creates and you can see that in most cases the percentage of difference is six or the percentage of difference is one but then in one case the percentage of difference is actually 16 and if you select that uh, we can actually see that there seems to be some significant difference because of adding this admin equal to one parameter in the query section of this uh, request so what we'll actually do is we'll try to see how these requests look okay i'm sorry how, how, how the responses for this request looks now this is how the response looked when the request was sent normally and this is how it looked when the parameter admin equal to one was added to the query section of the request so adding admin equal to one actually gives us this extra option in the response so this is actually a hidden functionality which is not not available to regular users but when admin equal to one is added to the url then this functionality is revealed 
So this was a hidden functionality which uh, we could detect automatically using Ironwasp. Now in rest of the cases, the difference is 6% uh, and if you actually see here, the difference is due to the difference in the CSRF token parameter and in some of the cases the difference is just 1%. So, okay, so the rest of the site is not affected, so we just have one place where there was a hidden functionality and we were able to detect it automatically.